Get ready for a new breed of television. It's called Dog TV. Right now it's being tested in San Diego and will be soon, come, soon be coming to a cable channel in your area. And from the looks of it, it may quickly become a dog's new best friend. Here's Brian Rooney. This is Chunk, a mixed breed of English bulldog and couch potato. He's home every day, uh, Monday through Friday, for about eight or nine hours. So Chunk's owners leave the television on for him. Not soap operas, but dog TV. Television from a dog's point of view and for a dog's point of view. Kathleen Burns is a fan. Television for a dog, it's it not a little over the top? It may sound like it to some people, but I think Chunk enjoys the, uh, the sound of other dogs in the apartment when we're not home and we're at work. Not much happens on dog TV. Dogs wander around, they bark, they play. Human voices say, Good boy, Callie. It's designed to keep a dog interested, entertained, and relaxed. And it seems to work. This is a room full of caged pit bulls at the Escondido Humane Society. Normally, they bark all day. But now, they are calmed by dog TV. They're more appealing for adoption. Patrick Malise is a veterinarian and animal behaviorist who says it's good to keep a dog from being lonely and stressed. They are basically are vegging out all day, and that's an unnatural environment for dogs and anything that can be done to help enrich that environment. It's much better for their, if you want to think of it, of their mental health, which sounds trivial, but it isn't trivial. The colors are muted and shaded toward the blues and yellows dogs see best. The music is, well, for the dogs. Right now, Dog TV is a cable channel available only in San Diego. But 46 million American homes have a dog, and the producers see pent-up demand, so to speak. It's a very, very large market. Uh, um, U.S. Uh, dog parents uh, really love their dogs. They treat them pretty much like their kids, which we really believe in is going to be a great solution for the millions of dogs that are left home alone every day. Sutep Jackson has dog TV for his dog, Diamond. What was her first reaction? Oh, the very first time was, was crazy. I turned around and said, look, Diamond, look, Diamond. She jumped off the couch, flew over to the TV, and actually jumped up and almost pushed the TV over. Chunk, though, is a cooler customer. What would he be like if he, if he had no stimulus and you, you come home after 10 hours? I think he'd be sad. I think he'd be a little lonely, so I think it fills his day. <laughs> Dog TV. It gives a whole new meaning to putting the remote on pause. For CBS This Morning, Saturday, Brian Rooney, San Diego.